Hello guys, Toby here. Welcome back to the Football Collectibles channel. And as you can see today, we've got another Topps TurboTax 2021 F1 video because we're going to be opening the Mega Tin, which retails at uh, £12.99. So nearly £13. It can be found in your local shops and of course at tops.com. And it contains a gold limited edition card of Sebastian Vettel, an exclusive subset of 15 home comfort cards. It's a beautifully designed product. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. <laughs> So we've got our tin here, and as always guys, if you are new to the Football Collectibles channel, then why not hit the subscribe button, do it now, and you'll never miss out on another Turbo Attacks opening, such as box breaks and all sorts to come in the future. So yeah, we get 55 cards in here, as I said, available at tops.com, and uh, let's just crack it open, shall we? There's the back of the tin for those that wanted to see it, the bottom and the other side as well. So very nice, I don't think they had this product, if my memory serves me correctly, last year, there was no mega tin available in any of the countries that this was sold in. So it's a nice little addition, nice new product this year for Turbo Attacks. So uh, let's get this tin open. There's the empty box, 40 cards, 15 exclusive cards, plus one gold limited edition. So I wonder if we get four packs in here. We don't. Okay, so let's open this pack up first. I was a bit disappointed, hoping we'd get four packs of cards, um, which is a shame, but... Never mind, let's see what we else we've got here. We start with uh, Kimi Raikkonen, uh, Supreme Skill Experience, and Max Verstappen, uh, Supreme Skill there for overtaking, which is awesome. We've then got Lewis Hamilton, Quality Qualifier, the Aftari Puzzle Middle Piece, Rookie Bottas from 2013, the Agent Strategy Card, Team Principal Toto Wolf, uh, Max Verstappen, F1 Speedster. We've got the live action card there of Lance Stroll. Uh, we've got Marina Sato, F2 Racer. We've gotten quite a lot now. Guan Yu Zhou, F2 Racer. We've got Yuki Sonoda and Pierre Gasly, F1 Team Joe, which is very, very nice. We've got Verstappen's flashback rookie from 2015, of course, where he was at, uh, what is Toro Rosso, now Alfa Tauri. The F1 Team Joe of Vettel and Stroll. We've got the uh, live action card of Gasly from the Italian Grand Prix. His famous, famous win. What a race that was. We've got Christian Horner's Team Principal card. Ricciardo's F1 Racer. The middle part of the F1 puzzle, I believe, there, number five. Uh, we've got Kimi Raikkonen, rookie flashback from 2001. Of course, we joined the grid at, with Sauber, who are now, of course, Alfa Romeo, so he's gone full circle. We've got F1 racer, Carlo Lando Norris. Uh, we've got Charles Leclerc's uh, anniversary, 75th anniversary Grand Prix live action card. The McLaren team logo, Carlos Sainz, rookie flashback. Gasly's rookie flashback from 2017. The back of the Williams team car on the puzzle. Franz Toss team principal. Uh, we've got the Alpine uh, team logo, we've got Gunter Steiner team principal, the Haas F1 team logo, the ART team logo, we've got the HWA Race Lab F2 team logo, we've also got there the Lewis Hamilton live action card from the Emilia Romagna, which was of course the Imola Grand Prix from last year, and we've also got here Gearbox Failure strategy card, very, very nice. Uh, what else have we got? We've also got the Red Bull Racing middle of the puzzle, so that's very, very good. And could these be some inserts? Let's have a look, shall we? They are. Very nice. We've got Carlos Sainz, F1 Race Superstar. We've got a Race Superstar there for Pierre Gasly. I love the design on these cards. I like the little image in the background, the flag, and the driver number as well, which is quite cool. We've got Bottas Race Superstar as well. And then we've got some more cards here, which is very, very nice. We've got F2 Champion 2020, Mick Schumacher, which is awesome. We've got fan favourite, Lando Norris, which is amazing. And we've got our first rookie card. Very nice. So it's Yuki Sonoda rookie. Is it numbered? No, we haven't got a numbered one, unfortunately. So, of course, they're available in various different colours. But we have got a Yuki Sonoda Alpha Tauri uh, F1 first season rookie card from 2021. That is very nice. So pleased to get our first one of those. And Sonoda's a decent one. I think probably the worst is Mazepin, the best Schumacher. And Sonoda's slap bang in the middle. So that is fantastic. So... Delighted to pick up that. That's fantastic. Really lovely design. The best design cards in the set for me. Now I've seen one in hand. I do like the gold cards too, but wow. What a, what an opening. So we'll we'll take that. They're very rare those. One in 11 packs. So you'd expect to get one in your mega tin. But now we've got our exclusive home comfort cards. Let's see what these look like, shall we? Let's see what these have been designed like. We start with gold limited edition Seb Vettel, of course, which is exclusively available in the mega, mega tin aside from lucky packs. So we have already got them on the channel in the lucky pack. Oh, these are nice. These are really nice cards. So, Fernando Alonso's home Grand Prix, home comforts, is the Barcelona circuit in Spain. So, the Spanish Grand Prix, which was held on the 9th of the 5th this year. It's the very same for Carlos Sainz. 
I really like these cards. Oh, of course, Lance Strong missed out on his home Grand Prix because it's since been cancelled, but he was due to race in Canada at the Montreal Street Circuit in uh, June, so just, just a few weeks ago now. Uh, and then we've got Nicholas Latifi, who missed out on exactly the same, unfortunately. Esteban Ocon, who got to race a few weeks ago at the French Grand Prix. I've actually been there. It's a fantastic day out. Um, it really, really is um, watching Formula One at that circuit. It's unbelievable. It looks far better there than it does on the telly, I have to say. Um, simply because the circuit doesn't look great on the telly because of all the, the coloured runoff areas. But uh, it does look very, very good, I have to say. It's the same for Pierre Gasly as well. And then we've got Lewis Hamilton, of course, the British Grand Prix, which is held at Silverstone. That's his home comforts, if you like. And he's a master around there. I think he's won it at least six times now, the British Grand Prix. We've got Lando Norris, Silverstone is also his home comfort. And George Russell as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Brilliant to see. We've got Max Verstappen's home comfort, which is, of course, the Dutch Grand Prix, which hasn't been held for over 40 years or roughly 40 years. And we go back to Zandvoort, a newly reconfigured and designed Zandvoort with a superb banked curve that I'm really looking forward to seeing the cars race around. So that'll be fantastic. That is in early September, on the 5th of September. And we've got Antonio Giovinazzi, who, of course, gets to race at the uh, Monza track, the legendary Monza track. That he lucky to call that his home Grand Prix because that is the Italian Grand Prix. And what a circuit that is. So far, so fun to watch. And then we've got Nikita Mazepin, whose home comforts is, of course, the Sochi Grand Prix in Russia, which, in fact, is only on the calendar for this season and next season. Then it moving to a brand new track at St. Petersburg. So that is pretty, pretty cool, just outside of St. Petersburg. But Yuki Tsunoda too, whose home comforts is, of course, the legendary Suzuka circuit. Seen so much amazing action there over the years. The famous Senna versus Prost title fights in, uh, I believe, 90, uh, 88 and 89. So that was fantastic. Or 89 and 90. I can't quite remember which way around. I think it was 89 and 90. So, yeah, what a, what a set of battles that was. And, of course, we've got Perez as well, who was very lucky to call the Mexican street circuit, his home Grand Prix. And the atmosphere there is electric and they even put the car on the podium there. So that is quite a home Grand Prix to have, I have to say. And you've got a great chance this year of not just getting on the podium, but winning it. So that'd be nice to see Checo do that. And last but not least, it's Daniel Ricciardo, who of course counts the Australian Grand Prix as his home Grand Prix in Melbourne. Another street circuit been redesigned for this year. And I love the fact that we've got the circuit layouts on these cards. They are really lovely. Oh, they are nice. They're super, super nice. So that's being held later in the year. Normally, it's the opening Grand Prix, but wow. Fantastic stuff. So, of course, that was the Mega Tin, where you get a gold limited edition of Sebastian Vettel. You get this awesome tin. We did manage to pull this amazing rookie card of Yuki Tsunoda of Alpha Tauri in his first season of Formula 1. And we got the exclusive Home Comfort subset available only in the Mega Tin. So, if you have enjoyed this video, guys, please make sure to smash the like button. That would help me massively. Of course, comment down below what you think of the tin. Is it is it a good new product to have? Do let me know. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. But until next time, guys, see you on some future openings. It's goodbye.